Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about some AWS Glue top concepts. It will help uh, for interview preparation also. So we will discuss about some important topics in AWS Glue. Let's start. What is AWS Glue? AWS Glue is a serverless data integration service that makes easy to discover prepare and combine data for analytics, machine learning, and application development. AWS Glue provides all of the capabilities needed for data integration so that we can start analyzing our data and putting it to use in minutes instead of months. AWS Glue provides both visual and code-based interfaces to make data integration is easier. We can easily find and access data using the AWS Glue data catalog. Data engineers and ETL developers can visually create, run, and monitor ETL workflows with a few clicks in AWS Glue Studio. And also it helps data analysts and data scientists can use AWS Glue Data Group to visually enrich, clean, and normalize data without writing the code. We can also write a code if we need Python Scala. So we will discuss on that like, you know, in the next questions. And also AWS Glue is designed to work with semi-structured data. We can use the AWS Glue console to discover data, transform and make it available for search and query. Um, next one, what are the main components of AWS Glue? AWS Glue consists of data catalog, which is the central metadata repository. It is an ETL engine that can automatically generate Scala or Python code. And we can also write our own code, but it is an ETL engine, this AWS Glue, and it can automatically generate Scala or Python code. And it is a flexible scheduler that handles dependency resolution, job monitoring, and retries. AWS Glue data proof for cleaning and normalizing data with a visual interface so that data analysts and data scientists can use this for cleaning and normalizing data. Next question, what data sources does AWS Glue support? The data stores that AWS Glue support, Amazon S3, Amazon RDS, third-party JDBC accessible databases, and Amazon DynamoDB. And also data streams, Amazon Kinesis and Apache Kafka. AWS Glue natively supports data stored in Amazon Aurora, Amazon RDS for MySQL, Amazon RDS for Oracle, Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL, Amazon RDS for SQL Server, Amazon Redshift, DynamoDB, and S3, as well as Micro, MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and PostgreSQL databases in our virtual private cloud running on Amazon EC2. What data targets does AWS Glue support? AWS Glue support the target data stores, Amazon S3, this simple storage service, and Amazon relational database service, and third-party JDBC accessible databases. What actions required to extract, transform, and load data from a data source to a data target in AWS Glow? So there are uh, some actions we need to perform to do all this entire activity, extract, transform, and load. So if you want to go through like, you know, the exercise, practical exercise, please go through my channel. There is one module available, AWS Glue tutorial. So in that module, I show like, you know, how to perform all these, all these steps, how to set up data source and how we can load the data into target and how we can schedule it and how we can upload our custom script. AWS Glue generates the script uh, in Python or Scala, but we can update our custom script. So if we see it here, we typically perform this action. For data store sources, we define a crawler to populate our AWS Glue data catalog 
with metadata table definition. We can also point our crawler at a data store and crawler creates table definitions in the data catalog. In addition to table definitions, the AWS Glue data catalog contains other metadata that is required to define ETL job. So we use this metadata when we define a job to transform our data. And we can run our job on demand or we can set it up to start when a specified trigger occurs. The trigger can be a time-based schedule or an event. So we can schedule it or we can run it on demand. When should we use AWS Glue? We can use AWS Glue to organize, clean, validate, and format data for storage in a data warehouse or data lake. We can transform and move AWS Cloud data into our data store. So we can extract, transform, and load. We can also load data from display static or streaming data sources into our data warehouse or data lake for regular reporting and analysis. What is the AWS Glue data catalog? The AWS Glue data catalog is a central repository to store structural and operational metadata for all our data sets. For a given data set, we can store table definition, physical location, add business relevant attributes, as well as track how this data has changed over time. AWS Glue data catalog is Apache High Metastore compatible and is a drop-in replacement for Apache Hive Metastore for big data applications running on Amazon EMR. AWS Glue Data Catalog also provides out-of-box integration with Atena, EMR, and Amazon Redshift Spectrum. Once we add our table definitions to the Glue Data Catalog, they are available for ETL and also readily available for querying in Athena, Amazon EMR, and Redshift Spectrum so that we can have a common view of our data between these services. What are AWS Glue crawlers? AWS Glue crawler connects to a data store, progresses through a prioritized list of classifiers to extract the schema of our data and other statistics, and then populates the Glue data catalog with the metadata info. Crawlers can run periodically to detect the availability of new data as well as changes to existing data that including table definition changes. We can customize Glue crawlers to classify our own file types. And crawlers automatically add new tables, new partitions to existing table and new versions of table definition. What analytics, what analytics services use the AWS Glue data catalog? The metadata stored in the AWS Glue data catalog can be readily accessed from Glue ETL, Amazon Athena, Amazon EMR, Amazon Redshift Spectrum, and third-party services. What is the AWS Glue Schema Registry? The AWS Glue Schema Registry is a serverless feature of AWS Glue. It enables us to validate and control the evaluation of streaming data using registered Apache Avro schemas at no additional charge. There is no additional charge for this. Through Apache licensed serializers and deserializers, the schema registry integrates with Java applications developed for Apache Kafka, Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka, Amazon Kinesis Data Streams, Apache Flink, Apache Amazon Kinesis Data Analytics for Apache Flink. When data streaming applications are integrated with the schema registry, we can improve data quality and safeguard against unexpected changes using compatibility checks that govern schema evolution. So we can ask like, you know, why should we use AWS Glue Schema Registry? And we can validate schema, safeguard schema evolution, safeguard schema evolution, improve data quality, 
and save cost and improve processing efficiency. And also we can like, you know, what data format, client language and integrations are supported by AWS Glue Schema Registry. So we can say a schema registry supports Apache Avro data schemas and Java client application. And we plan to, and AWS plan to expand support to non avro and non-Java clients. Uh, uh, we can also like you know get this kind of question is AWS glue schema registry open source AWS glue schema registry storage is an AWS service while the serializers and deserializers are Apache licensed open source components and we can we can use AWS private link to connect our data producers VPC to AWS Glue by defining an interface VPC endpoint for AWS Glue. How can I monitor my AWS Glue schema registry usage? AWS CloudWatch metrics are available as part of CloudWatch's free tier. We can access these metrics in the CloudWatch console. Does AWS Glue have a no code, no code interface for visual ETF? Yes, uh, AWS Glue Studio offers a graphical interface for authoring Glue jobs to process our data. After we define the flow of our data sources, transformations and targets in the visual interface, AWS Glue Studio will generate Apache Spark code on our behalf. And what next question like what programming language can I use to write my ETL code for AWS Glue? So as we discussed earlier, we can use either Scala or Python. So when we define target and source and target, so AWS Glue Studio automatically generates script for you for us. So that script in either Scala or Python, but we can use any of this language to build our custom script and upload it. How can I customize the ETL code generated by AWS Glue? We can write ETL code using AWS Glue's custom library or write arbitrary code in Scala or Python by using inline editing via the AWS Glue console script editor, downloading the auto-generated code and editing it in our own IDE. So we can download that script and we can make changes and we can upload it or we can build it on our own. How do I monitor the execution of my AWS Glue jobs? As we discussed, we can watch it through CloudWatch. We can set up SNS notifications via CloudWatch actions to be informed of job failures or compl completions. AWS Glue provides the status of each job and pushes all notifications to Amazon CloudWatch. So we can set up these notifications whenever we get job failures, so we get immediate notification so that we can log in and see what's going on with this job and we can fix the failure. And also we can see like, you know, if the job is successful, we can set up all this. What is AWS Glue Data Brew? AWS Glue Data Brew is a visual data preparation tool that makes it easy for data analysts and data scientists to prepare data with an interactive point and click visual interface without writing code. It helps data analysts and data scientists to normalize and visualize data. With Glue Data Brew, we can easily visualize, clean and normalize terabytes and even petabytes of data directly from our data lake or from our data warehouses or data lake or databases that includes Amazon's S3 service, Redshift, Aurora, and Amazon RDS. What is AWS Glue Elastic Views? AWS Glue Elastic Views makes it easy to build materialized views that combine and replicate data across multiple data stores without us like having to write a custom code. AWS Glue, AWS Glue Elastic Views copies data from each data, 
each source data store and creates a replica in a targeted data store. So, so far we discussed all top concepts of AWS Glue. So if you want to, if you want to learn how to create a job and how we can load data from source and target, and please go through my channel. There is a mod, uh, video module available, AWS Glue tutorial. So I, I did all these activities. Uh, I set up this source connection and target connection, and I run that and loaded data into the target. And please go through that and also how we can upload our custom script in AWS ETL or how we can make changes in uh, automated script, how we can download and make changes according to our need. Yeah, please go through that module. If you still have any questions on this AWS Glue, please post them in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.